It's just another school day, but their heads are in the stars. These kids in a school in New Delhi can hardly contain their excitement over India's moon mission. Chandrayaan-2 is India's second mission to the moon. Twelve years in the making, the launch date was pushed several times over the last year. But now, the wait is finally over for what could be a historic mission for the country. For these children, some of whom are also in the astronomy club, it is an inspiration. I would like to go become an astronaut, but I would like to do more researches about rest planets and new stars, new discoveries when I grow up. The moment I came to know about the mission, I was really excited and happy that my country, India, is going to be the fourth one to send this mission to moon. And I wish my country success. This also will be another achievement. If we find water on the South Pole, we will, of course, be the first ones to reach the South Pole. For Space India, an organization that works on promoting the study and pursuit of astronomy, missions like Chandrayaan-2 are pivotal. Proudly, we can say that our organization is also competing there in the space race. So, and also I can tell my students, uh, just like today, I told my students that there is no need to go in foreign countries. We are having future here in our own country as well. The kids have built their own rovers and landers and are ready to test them out. A perfect soft launch. The real Chandrayaan-2 sets off at 2.51 a.m. local time on Monday. But these children are excited enough to fight to stay up late on a school night to watch it. Well, for more on India's lunar mission, I'm joined now by Rajaswari Pillai Rajagopalan. She's a senior fellow and head of the Nuclear and Space Policy Initiative at the Observer Research Foundation, which is an Indian policy think tank. Thanks so much for joining us. So tell us what is unique about Thank India's you. moon mission? What is it doing with its moon mission that perhaps other countries are not doing with their own space programs? No, I think the most exciting bit is the fact that uh, the Chandrayaan 2 will be soft landing on the south pole of the moon. And I think that's something that is no other country has attempted so far. Uh, but this is also to be lifted in the larger context of the general uh, space competition that's picking up even within this uh, lunar domain. So you had China performing the uh, land, soft landing on the far side of the moon in January this year. They landed on the near side of the moon a couple of years ago. So this, there is a larger competition that is picking up. Ever since uh, the U.S. President uh, uh, Trump came into office, he talked about going back to the moon again. So uh, this has to be looked in that context. I think that's also part of the, uh, part of the calculation, in a sense. Uh, but India undertook the first uh, moon mission in 2008 when there was not so much of a dust competition. Uh, and this was uh, supposed to be a follow-up mission within a couple of years. Uh, but obviously, we had some delays uh, with the Chandrayaan-2 mission, uh, the rover in particular. And therefore, I think the, uh, that delay has happened. But in the meantime, you have had this geopolitics of space picking up pace. And uh, that's, uh, that's, why, that's how you uh, see this finally happening now. But the most impressive aspect is going to be the soft landing of the moon on the South Pole, uh, which no other country has done, and making India the fourth country to do the soft landing on the moon itself. Well, I think it goes without saying that a space program is very expensive. How does India justify spending so much money on a space program when the country is still facing uh, problems of poverty? <coughs> I think this is, uh, this is a very old debate that India has been faced with for a very long time. Uh, for decades together, I think the debate was primarily on as to how India is, uh, for instance, more on the defense spending as why India, a country that uh, has so much of poverty and development issues, several millions of people uh, below poverty line should be focusing on such kind of aspects. And in now today, the, that gun versus bread has come to become uh, something like gun versus satellite, uh, bread versus satellite uh, debate, so to say. Uh, but I think uh, there are a couple of important imperatives for India to 
pursue the space program. One is that much of the space program has been geared towards developmental missions in a sense. All right. uh, and second, I think uh, the, also the global commercial space market okay. is an important afraid, consideration for India. I'm afraid we have to leave it there. Thank you so very much for joining us. You're watching DW sure. News. Thank, thank you.